What's good world? How we doing today? I might be I'm back with another reactions video. Appreciate everybody tuning in to the other videos that I recently posted. You already know I really appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, and comment on this one. I'm going to be trying out a new one. It's going to be a new 60 Days In, the new season they just dropped. I did see the last one. Last one was pretty funny. So I am going to check out this one. Again, I am doing this one just to... Because I just want to see it for entertainment. Honestly, I don't really give a fuck what anybody thinks. But jumping straight into it. You already know what we do here. Season 7. I don't really know the people. Hopefully they do an introduction because... I never even went and checked out who they are. For the bathroom. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Because when I think about jail, that's like the scariest thing I can think about. It's like, you know, dying of like something in the air or some dumb shit. So I'm not really scared of like the next person or like whatever. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we all bleed the same. But it's like, imagine dying of something that like, Y'all put me in here and then y'all mistreated me while I'm in here. Fuck the people around me. I already know that I'm around criminals and stuff, but y'all are mistreating us too. So it's just like, yo, how are we supposed to how are we supposed to react to that? We don't know what's going on. It makes us go crazy because we're in this small space for 23 hours and we only get an hour out. It's pretty much trying to get as many inmates in here as possible. This jail some I hate this jail. Oh. He's six to a cell. Let me sleep on the floor. These are too many bitches. And so, we need the 60 Days In program to find out whether we have a culture of bullying. I don't want her, bitch. I don't want you right now. Drug use, drug sales, contraband, weapons, gangs. If my staff is operating professionally, the guards are just ruthless. You need to be not I'm not <laughs> the 60 Days In program is extremely important to provide immediate feedback so we can assess and respond to issues and for the first time ever to make changes in real time to help my jail. So I'm allowing seven individuals into my detention facility as an extension of my vision to reduce recidivism. But this program... I don't like that he keeps saying that he allowing seven individuals like but you lucky enough that seven individual individuals want to go in your dirty ass jail and help you fix it you should be grateful like, i don't know people get in certain positions and then they forget like where you came from like bro you're the one you took it over in that position and it was already dirty and you want to fix it but don't say you're allowing them in there because no they're coming in there to help you what the hell you would have and even if you pick another seven people it didn't matter because they're still coming in there to help you dummy it's going to be different from the rest this time they're all as convicts i served a total of eight years time for theft burglary oh yeah i was gonna say the dope thing about it is that this season they're actually doing people who've been in jail or been incarcerated shoplifting Already. Lifting, credit card fraud, and drug possession. I joined a gang when I was 12 years old, which led to over 20 incarcerations over the course of 26 years. From 2007 to 2016, I was incarcerated in six different prisons for armed robbery. I was arrested for aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. I did seven days in jail and six years probation. I was arrested with over a half a million. That meme, right, that like looked like I seen in a meme before. So. Dollars in steroids. I served just under six years. I served a two and a half year sentence for tax fraud. I was incarcerated for three and a half years for criminal possession of a weapon. I was a part of the Latin Kings. We've separated you in pairs, so you won't know each other in the pods. And so you can focus on the mission and not jeopardize each other's covers. The sheriff, the chief, and the colonel, along with myself and a selected few, are the only ones that know that you are in this program. The inmate to deputy ratio is, is large. So we can't be everywhere and see everything. Mm -hmm. We've had some of our officers attack. So if you see anything that can help us mitigate that, please tell us. I'll be your eyes and ears. I want you to know that your safety is of our utmost priority. So if you get into a situation that you need to come out, then I want you to know what the distress signal would be. So that distress signal physically is rubbing your temples. Verbally, I've got a really bad headache. Okay. And a really bad headache. I've got headache. a really bad headache. Y'all got it? 
No, I was gonna say is like most of the times, like I started thinking about it after. You know, most of the times people go to jail and they don't, they don't. When they go back, bro, they can't deal with that shit, bro. And I feel like another cheese also like the option of them being able to leave. My bad, being able to leave whenever they want to. That's a ill cheat. I feel like a lot of them are gonna take advantage of this time. I'm calling it out now. Got it. You're coming to us at a time where we're right in the middle of a pandemic. So we have protocols in place to where you're gonna have to be quarantined 14 days before you go into general population. You're gonna be isolated for a while. There may be some things in quarantine that we know nothing about. Oh my God, if somebody don't turn off this TV. We need intel on that. Yes, ma'am. Can you get through quarantine? I can do it. It's not going to be easy. Do you have any questions for me? I'm just ready to rock and roll and get everything done. Yeah, so they got to do 60 on top of the phone. The only place where I seen fault was the shower. When you undress an inmate, you're supposed to turn that inmate around, squat, and cough. That wasn't done. So I could have brought anything in the jail. Uh, I could have had a cell phone in my if I wanted it. You know what I mean? If you didn't do it to me, how many other inmates you didn't do it to? Y'all still doing quarantine here? So that's the thing about intake, yo. You be seeing the craziest people out there. It brings concerns on what contraband is in the jail. Put me anywhere in the jail. It's great. Then wrap the far right, the far right of the wall. You know, weapons, plastic shanks, things that can, you know, do damage. <laughs> you don't know what's in this jail right now. The free world. The first week that I took office, we had two employees die from COVID. And so the quarantine, once you come into the Henry County Jail, is absolutely necessary. And that's a time frame that we make sure that they are not positive in any type of way before we put them in general population. And so the 23 in one lockdown is key to further mitigate the risk of COVID spreading inside of our facility. Come on, right here is for the birds. I'm surprised they don't got pillows in this bitch. You got to do 14 days in the minimum. That's a minimum? Minimum 14 days, you got to do it. This 14 sucks. I don't like this. Yeah, this trash. For two weeks? Minimum. Day one. Coming into the quarantine unit, they didn't test me. They were like, hey, you're going straight to a cell. I'm like, okay. That's not quarantine. I was under the impression you come into the jail and we'll let you guys out, you know, the, for the day. Nah, it wasn't the case. I'm out to sell, one hour, and that's it. When I was in New York State, and I had to do two months in the box, that's isolation. And it just bothers me because I feel like I'm in the box again. I felt like I was being put back in a cage. <clears throat> they make that time seem like it's going fast, but that time is not going fast, bro. It's not, bro, every minute is just breathing. <laughs> And then it's weird too because after you get out of that little quick isolation, it's not like you're really going too far because you're just going into a bigger isolation with a bunch of unknown people. Don't worry about it. The officer, her aggressiveness was unnecessary. I mean, hands all up in my junk. You know I don't have anything in my pocket. Why are you being a bitch? Help! Stop talking to that bitch. You gon' never see a bitch again. So as I'm walking in, they're screaming, ah, 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 ah. and I'm like, wow. You are there. Again. 
And I'm like, oh, it's about to go down. Growing up, I didn't have a father. And my mother was in the military. So we were. Life. I don't yeah, feel like. Somebody gave in. Yeah, that was crazy. I think I might do a few more of these, y'all. Let me know if you think I should do a few more of these, and then I'll definitely do a few more. I'm probably going to do them anyway. I'm going to get into more of the entertainment side of it and step away from music. I'm probably going to do music videos here and there more of the requested ones and then i'm gonna start doing entertainment appreciate everybody that tuned in check y'all out